if you are going to allow the minister to go on blah, 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 like this, already he has taken 20 minutes or more to respond in his formal reply. I think you have to be fair to us, Mr. Speaker. These answers have to be succinct, brief, to allow the opposition to answer questions. Otherwise, we'll be done in two minutes after two questions. Honorable Member, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, rest assured I'll give you some more minutes. Number one. Number two, you've been a former Prime Minister, you know that I can't control answers of the ministers. Oh. <laughs> best wishes, best wishes. Shadow Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, sir. Lead, uh, the, if the, uh, the, uh, the leader of opposition have to bear with me, even if he has catastrophic ears, I have to continue. I'm trying my best to keep calm in the face of such a catastrophe, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, since the last eight months, we have been begging the minister, begging him to pre-order vaccines, reserve vaccines like the UK, the US, the European Union, Israel, you name it. We have been begging him to pre-order vaccines, reserve vaccines, so that he can take delivery once the vaccines are approved by WHO. He has stubbornly and negligently refused to do so, putting the population of this, of this country at risk, both as to health and economically, Mr. Speaker, sir. And he dares to say that we have not done our work. Where's we want question? this country, Mr. Speaker, to succeed. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I, will, uh, I was not going to ask him to resign because we have a pandemic. But really, he ought to. But I'm going to ask him, Mr. Speaker, to give an unreserved apology to the nation, to this nation, for having neglig been negligent, for having been negligent, and putting our lives at risk and our economy at risk, and the well-being of this population at risk, he has been negligent, Mr. Speaker. He must apologize. He misled the population when he stated, and I have the consent forms here, and it's getting me very upset, because he stated, are you consent form pour vaccin? Li pareil, li pareil, comme consent form signé dans l'hôpital. I am going to table, Mr. Speaker. So the consent the form. Sorry? Question time. Where is your question? Mr. Speaker, there is no question on my. Please. Order. I'm willing to re answer to question. Point of order, please. By August. And will he table the document? Mr. Speaker, sir, in my intervention, I mentioned it that how the government, how the ministry is proceeding with the vaccination. No countries in the world, even those who are producing the vaccine, can give a timeline when they can vaccinate the, their population. Mayet, you ask your question, listen. No, don't discuss with the chair. Si, si. <laughs> on this side, on this side, Mr. be quiet. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, sir. They are, compar they are comparing Mauritius with Seychelles with a population of 85,000 and they, where they have been given Sinopharm vaccination. I will see what would be their reaction when the Sinopharm vaccination will come to Mauritius. I will see. Now they are saying that Seychelles have been vaccinated. Let's wait for their, their reaction when the vaccination will come to Mauritius. Now, at the same time, we have how the government has been preparing for the vaccine. It's not that the vaccination is available tomorrow, but there is a preparation. There is a commitment of the government how to procure the vaccination, and all that I've already given this, the, how the vaccination will be procured. But at the same time, Mr. Speaker, sir, the time frame that we don't know. We can't preempt now to say when will be the delivery time. 